Hey Steelers fans, welcome back to the channel. We've got some exciting updates to break down today as our Pittsburgh Steelers continue their push for AFC dominance. This week, there's good news on the injury front for Najee Harris, a massive divisional clash against the Baltimore Ravens, and a surprising stat that highlights just how tough this team is. Before we dive into it, smash that like button to show your support for the black and gold. If you love the Steelers as much as we do, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates, analysis, and behind-the-scenes stories. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with the injury report. Fans were holding their breath after Najee Harris went down with an ankle injury during our game against the Washington Commanders. But here's the good news, Najee's injury doesn't look serious, and he's expected to suit up for this week's showdown with Baltimore. After sitting out Wednesday's practice, Harris was back in full on Thursday and declared himself ready to go. This is fantastic news, especially given his Ironman streak, he's never missed an NFL game since being drafted in the first round in 2021. That's right, 60 straight starts, and counting. Harris has been on fire this season, averaging a career-high 71.7 rushing yards per game. He's also shown his versatility, adding 17 catches for 152 yards in the passing game. Before the injury last Sunday, Najee was well on his way to a fourth consecutive 100-yard performance, showcasing the kind of form we've been waiting for. And you know he's not going to miss an opportunity to face off against fellow Alabama alum Derrick Henry and the Ravens. While Harris is good to go, there are other injury concerns heading into this critical matchup. Backup running back Jalen Warren missed Thursday's practice with a back issue, and tight end Michael Pruitt continues to sit out with a knee injury. Meanwhile, cornerback Dante Jackson and wide receiver Van Jefferson were limited participants, but both are trending in the right direction for Sunday. Unfortunately, Alex Highsmith is expected to miss the game with a lingering ankle injury, which will put pressure on our defensive front to step up. Now, let's talk about a fascinating stat that's caught the attention of the NFL world. Did you know the last seven teams to play the Steelers have gone 0-7 in their following game? That's right, Pittsburgh doesn't just beat teams, we wear them down so much that they can't recover for the next week. This trend highlights the physicality and intensity that coach Mike Tomlin instills in this team. Even when the Steelers don't come away with a win, they take a toll on their opponents. It's the kind of gritty, smash-mouth football that's become synonymous with Steelers culture. Here's an example, after our Week 2 win over the Denver Broncos, they went on to lose their next game. And this streak has kept going, making us one of the toughest teams to face in the league. This level of physicality could prove crucial as the playoff race tightens. At 7-2, the Steelers are exceeding expectations this season. A lot of people wrote this team off before the year began, thinking 2024 would be a rebuilding phase. But Tomlin has once again silenced the doubters, keeping Pittsburgh competitive in every game. Now, we're heading into Week 11 with a critical matchup against the Baltimore Ravens. This game isn't just about bragging rights, it's about taking control of the AFC North and solidifying our path to the playoffs. With Kansas City, 9-0, and Buffalo, 8-2, battling for the AFC's top seed, every win counts. And don't forget, the Steelers still have a shot at the number one seed. Kansas City has a tough schedule ahead, including a showdown with Buffalo in Week 11. If the Bills can hand the Chiefs their first loss and Pittsburgh takes care of business against Baltimore, it could set the stage for the Steelers to climb to the top of the conference. This matchup against the Ravens isn't just any divisional game, it's a statement opportunity. Baltimore is one of our biggest rivals, and the AFC North standings are as tight as ever. A win this Sunday would not only give Pittsburgh a stronger grip on the division but also extend our lead over the Ravens. The Ravens are no slouch. They've got a dynamic offense led by Lamar Jackson and a defense that knows how to pressure quarterbacks. But the Steelers have proven time and again that they can rise to the occasion in big games. The key will be our ability to establish the run game with Harris and control the tempo, keeping Baltimore's offense off the field. There's something different about this year's Steelers squad. It's not just about talent, it's about heart, grit, and the will to win. This team fights until the final whistle, and that's what has kept us in the playoff conversation. One of the biggest reasons for our success is Coach Tomlin. His leadership is unmatched, and his ability to motivate players and adapt to challenges has been a driving force behind our 7-2 record. The Steelers' physicality, combined with Tomlin's strategic mindset, makes us a team that no one wants to face. Steelers Nation, the stage is set for an epic second half of the season. Najee Harris is healthy, the team is clicking, and the playoffs are within reach. But the question is, can we keep the momentum going and take down the Ravens this Sunday? This game could define our season. 
a win would solidify our position in the AFC North and give us a real shot at hosting a playoff game for the first time since 2020. And if the Steelers can continue their streak of wearing down opponents, it could give us a unique edge as the playoffs approach. The Pittsburgh Steelers have been a thorn in Lamar Jackson's side since he entered the NFL. Despite being a two-time MVP and one of the most electrifying players in the league, Jackson's record against the Steelers is a head-scratching 1-3. Over those four games, his stats are far from his MVP level. Four touchdowns, total. Seven interceptions. Five fumbles. A completion percentage of just 59.1%. A passer rating of 66.8. 20 sacks. What's behind these struggles? Even Jackson himself can't seem to figure it out. Speaking to the Baltimore media this week, he admitted, I don't know. It's a different team right now, but it's always the same goal. We want to win. While Jackson has faced challenges against Pittsburgh, it's worth noting that he didn't play in four of the Steelers' last seven wins over Baltimore. Still, when he's on the field, Pittsburgh seems to have his number. Let's explore why. Why the Steelers have Jackson's number. The Steelers' success against Jackson is a combination of factors. 1. Defensive pressure. In just four games, Jackson has been sacked 20 times by Pittsburgh's defense. Cam Hayward and company know how to disrupt his rhythm, forcing hurried throws and creating turnover opportunities. Hayward himself downplayed the dominance, saying, Sometimes the ball has fallen our way. He's a heck of a talent you try to bottle up, but you never can. Sometimes it's come down to just having the ball last. 2. Turnovers. Turnovers have been a killer for Jackson against Pittsburgh. His seven interceptions and five fumbles highlight the defense's ability to capitalize on mistakes. Whether it's TJ Watt crashing off the edge or Minka Fitzpatrick lurking in coverage, the Steelers' defense thrives on creating chaos. 3. Situational football. The Steelers excel at forcing Baltimore into uncomfortable situations. From red zone interceptions to critical sacks, Pittsburgh has a knack for making game-changing plays when it matters most. Looking ahead, a tough challenge on Sunday. As we gear up for another Steelers-Ravens showdown, it's clear that this Sunday's game won't be a walk in the park. Jackson is playing at an MVP level this season. 69.1% completion rate. 2,669 passing yards. 24 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. A passer rating of 123.2. 538 rushing yards on 91 carries, 5.9 average. Baltimore's offense is firing on all cylinders, leading the league in points per game, 31.8, and rushing offense, 182.6 yards per game. With all-pro running back Derrick Henry in the backfield, the Ravens' offense has reached new heights. Defensive coordinator Terrell Austin knows the challenge ahead, stating, Lamar is a two-time MVP. He's had three perfect passer ratings this year. He gets better as he gets more seasoned in the league, and that's what the great players do. The key to victory, containing Lamar and Derrick Henry. So, how can the Steelers come out on top? One contain the run game. The combination of Jackson and Henry has been deadly for defenses. Henry leads the league with 1,120 rushing yards and 12 touchdowns through 10 weeks. The Steelers' front seven will need to be disciplined, plugging gaps and forcing Baltimore into obvious passing situations. 2. Pressure Jackson. As we've seen in the past, pressuring Jackson is critical. With TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith wreaking havoc, the Steelers need to collapse the pocket while maintaining lane discipline to prevent Jackson from breaking loose. 3. Win the turnover battle. The Steelers have thrived on creating turnovers in recent matchups against Baltimore. With Minka Fitzpatrick patrolling the secondary and linebackers like Cole Holcomb stepping up, forcing Jackson into mistakes will be crucial. Sunday's game isn't just another matchup, it's a battle for AFC North supremacy. At 7-2, the Steelers are in a prime position to take control of the division. A win over the Ravens would not only solidify Pittsburgh's standing but also keep the team on track for a potential playoff run. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh, however, isn't dwelling on the past. He's focused on the task at hand, stating, We don't live in the past record. None of that matters. It's the next game. While Harbaugh preaches a clean slate, history tells us this rivalry always delivers fireworks. With the Ravens boasting the league's top offense and the Steelers' defense playing lights out, Sunday's clash is shaping up to be a classic. Steelers Nation, the stage is set. Lamar Jackson is on a mission to flip the script, but Pittsburgh has proven time and again that they know how to handle him. Whether it's the defense creating turnovers, the offense capitalizing on opportunities, or Mike Tomlin outcoaching Harbaugh, the Steelers have the blueprint for success. This game will be a true test of grit, determination, and execution. And with AFC North bragging rights on the line, you can bet the Steelers will leave it all on the field.
Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about Najee Harris's performance this season? Are you confident he can continue his dominance against Baltimore? And how about this 0-7 streak, do you think it's a sign of how tough the Steelers are, or just a fluke? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this breakdown, like this video to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Steelers update. Thanks for tuning in, Steelers Nation. Let's get ready for a hard-fought game on Sunday, and as always, go Steelers!